It's the 2K Sports Pregame Show, sponsored by Kia. Hello, everybody. Ernie Johnson here with Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Great to have you with us on 2K Sports. Tonight, we'll see the Los Angeles Lakers as they play against the New York Knicks. For New York, playing under 500 basketball over the last 10 games. They can do better, and they'll try to get on the winning side tonight. Let's talk for a moment about Derrick Rose. At this point, it's unlikely he'll ever return to his MVP level. But he can still leave his mark on a game, can he? Can he? he, he can. And uh, he still can push the tempo. He still can lead a team. And defensively, he's still, uh, I would say, top of the game. You know, his shot hasn't returned the way it has probably before the MVP. But a still smart player and can, you know, Shaq, he can put that dagger on him. See, I, what I don't like about Kenny is guards always try to protect each other. I didn't one, think you. I didn't think there was anything you didn't like. About I know, him. but one area where Rose has improved is he takes better care of the ball. Man. He was real loosey goosey with the ball. That was loosey his weakness goosey. when he first came into the league. But now, he's playing like my main man Kenny over there. I oh. don't really have a lot of turnovers. Yeah, yeah, I man. never turned it over. Man. I'm gonna get rid of it before I turn it over. <laughs> that does it for us for now. Kevin Harlan with the call. We'll see you later. It's interconference time for the New York Knicks as they travel to enemy territory looking for a win. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. David Aldridge is on our sideline. This game marks the end of this stretch at home for the Lakers. Back on the road tomorrow. And, of course, D'Angelo Russell out his hey, presence. They'll have to overcome the hole there. And, and as shocked as people are that they would trade away a player of his caliber, they didn't just let him go for nothing. I mean, they got a lot in return. I, I think it's a deal that's going to really help them down the road. We've got a chance here to set the floor, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go for this one. And New York, looking at who they've got, Mello and Porzingis, the two stars at the forward spots. Rose is out there with Lee, and it's Noah in at the five down low. And so the Los Angeles Lakers get the first points of the ball game. Here's Lee. That's short off the rim. You know, Jordan Clarkson enjoying a really nice start to his career for a mid-second round pick back in 2014. Had a little time in the D-League to start his career, but then played so well for the Lakers down the stretch that he made the all-rookie first team outstanding entry pass there. He knew exactly where to go with the ball. There's a screen by Robinson. 
Here's Clarkson. And he uses the glass on the way. Clarkson's got his first basket of the night. Tacking inside. Clarkson plays with a chip on his shoulder. Like he's trying to prove something every night. That's not a bad way to play when you're young and up and coming. Now here's Porzingis. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against Sacramento. And I thought the contribution he made by just generating contact, getting to the line was outstanding, guys. I mean, he picked up a lot of points at the strike. Here's Ingram. That one's off. He starts the game with a miss. Well, what appeared to be an easy two points just never materialized. Anthony kicks it to Noah. Ingram with the steal. Knocked loose. And a fast break now for New York. Here's Rose. Here's Noah. Passes it to Persingas. Yeah, good job to take it right after. Yeah, really left him no choice there, Greg. He had to foul and keep him from converting the easy bucket. And one thing about Christoph Porzingis, you, you know he can overcome adversity. I mean, he was booed heavily on draft day for not being the selection the fans wanted. And you know what? Didn't let it bother him and didn't take it personal. All he did was go out and win over every fan of the New York Knicks imaginable. And he made a few more. Just a spectacular rookie campaign. And I just tell you guys, the sky is the limit for this young man. So he gets them both. Boy, I tell you what, he does not look like your typical big man up there at the line. He has an excellent stroke and a percentage to match. Rose against Dang. He kicks to Clarkson. Baseline try, and that one drops for him. And for Perzingis getting booed on draft day, that can leave a sour taste in a lot of players' mouths, but he understood it, and he just uses it as motivation. Kevin, give him credit. A lot of players may let that distract them or de detract from who they are, but not Porzingis. That exciting play, though, quickly won over any critics he may have had. The Lakers have gone three or five shooting the ball so far, and it's Dang in the corner. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. I tell you what, you can shake your confidence missing wide open shots like that. Lee passes to Rose. Porzingis kicks to Rose. He gets hauled in by Los Angeles. Last game matchup with the Suns, a, a tough loss there. And they had to be sensational defensively on that night to compensate for the fact that they just couldn't find a rhythm offensively. Well, I don't think they're really built to play those kind of grinded out low scoring games. It just doesn't seem to be in their DNA to me. Nice shot by Porzingis. Porzingis has got six. Really, the defense is helpless to stop a layup right there. Just too much of an advantage in terms of the mismatch. Randall against Porzingis. Randall dishes to Clarkson. Puts it up from 17, and it comes off the front of the rim. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I, I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. Now here's Porzingis. He's got six. Stolen by Clarkson. Stolen by Rose. Here's Ingram. Knicks with the rebound. Anthony's got his third rebound tonight. And a wide-open look for Lee. A second chance effort, and it's finished off by Noah as he lays it in. He got a great read of where that miss was going, and that allowed him to be the first guy to it and get the putback. Dang gets a wide open look, and again, no good by the Lakers. The Knicks leading by four. Lee outside. Ingram with the steal, and the foul on Carmelo Anthony. That's his first foul. Outside Dang. Clarkson is screen on Rose. Dang kicks to Clarkson. He had drops for his third basket. He's missed only one shot. For New York, they've gone four for nine from the field to start this game off. 
Rose passes to Lee. Randall against Porzingis. Anthony kicks to Porzingis. Lock at six for three. And it's Dang with the rebound. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Robinson kicks to Clarkson. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. Puts it up from 17. Again, the miss by Dang. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. Pretty clear they're dominating that area. They've come out with a lot more energy and effort so far. And his presence as a scorer, it just has a calming effect for the rest of the team. He's a fallback option whenever they need one. And the Lakers making a change here. And for Carmelo Anthony, one thing that he doesn't get enough credit for is, Greg, his rebound. Yeah, and Melo's never been a bad rebounder, but in the past few seasons, you can see he's emphasized that more, more active in terms of closing out on possessions, has a great base and wide shoulders to secure position on the box out. When you watch Porzingis play out there on the floor, he is just pure excitement on either end of the floor. You have to expect the unexpected and watch Greg for big plays because he has been delivered. He comes up with what I call momentum plays more often than not. The pitching for the huge putback dunk or the block. His style of play is why he became so popular so quickly. New York leading by four. Now we'll go to David Aldridge. Had a chance to talk with head coach Luke Walton, D.A., well, Kevin, this team does have some powerful finishers inside. And he said that option is always going to be one for them. He said, when in doubt, I want our guys to be aggressive, get inside, and force the defense to collapse. That creates inside-out opportunities. Kevin, that's the game plan. Back to you. Thank you, David. Here's Clarkson following the score by New York. The dish to Ingram. Fires from the wing. Count that one. Ingram's got his first basket. Not much else the Bart can do besides get a hand up. I mean, Ingram is just one of those guys who makes contested shots consistently. And, you know, it's been a long time coming to be able to say this, but I'm starting to sense some hope and optimism with this Knicks basketball team. I mean, they're in a good spot financially. Uh, they're going to have flexibility in terms of filling out that roster and then you've got a core of young talent that is exciting the fan base in which you can build around New York leading by four and for the Knicks and their positive outlook when New York has a Knicks team that they love that can capture the hearts of the entire city. And, and, and you have some of the most diehard fans in the world wearing Knicks colors. No doubt about it. You can see the team also has improved the ball movement and the team play in the last couple of seasons. Knicks are starting to become a team that is exciting to watch, win or lose. Here's Rose. Brandon Ingram picking up that last bucket. And that was the play to make. Rose making the right read. Los Angeles has gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. Clarkson kicks to Ingram. To the middle. Dang passes to Zubats. It's stolen by Rose. Clarkson dishes to Ingram. Feeds it to Dang. In the corner, it's Clarkson. From outside, off the mark. The Knicks with the lead. Now here's Rose. In the game against Sacramento, very impressive. For Zingas, up and in for the basket. Number four. That makes him four for five now. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. And the layup's good off the glass. Clarkson's got eight points. Really hard to find fault with anything he's doing this quarter, at least at the offensive end. Rose kicks to Porzingis. Now the pass to Lee. Shot off the screen. The shot will not fall. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. And here's Clarkson. He's got eight. Hits it from three-point range. 11 points in the game. 
you know, Clarkson really working on his range, and defenses better wise up to it. Here's Rose. Lee passes to Noah. The feed to Carmelo. Shots good by Lee. Well, you know, struggling offensively, he's got to be happy, guys, to see that go in. I mean, he had missed his five prior shots. Ingram with it. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against Phoenix. And it goes out of bounds. That went off for Zingas. Big group substitution here for the Lakers. Net a world piece. He's checked in for Randall. Nance comes in for Ingram. Corey Brewer's checked in for Lou Aldang. And it's Tyler Ennis in for Clarkson. Here is Brewer, currently averaging almost six points a game. Goes back up, and it's good on the way in. And that put back about as easy a bucket as you're going to get. Exactly what happens when you don't box out, Greg. Here's Vujicic. They look to him for part of their offensive attack. Right now, he averages nearly 12 points a game. Hernan Gomez passes to Vujicic. Count the basket. Vujicic has got his first points of the game. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any individual agenda. Yeah, and it's really fun to see that kind of unselfishness. Really hard not to appreciate all the assists they've racked up. Brewer's shot is off. Boy, from my angle, it looked like it was in the bottom of the net. Looked good from here. Yeah, I'm about as shocked as you are, Clark. Here's Thomas. Nance with some nice D. Lakers trail by three. Now Ennis. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. We've got 155 left here in the first quarter. And a fast break now for the Knicks. A slam dunk by Thomas. Wow, that's a really smooth finish. That's what we and they always love seeing him at the end of those breaks. He makes it look fun and easy. And the Lakers have possession. The Knicks making the shot. Stolen by O'Quinn. Vujicic dishes to O'Quinn. New York moving it around. Here's Baker. And he's good on the three ball. And now it's an eight-point Knicks lead. And a look at how the hustle game has been going for the Knicks. And it's been about their defense. They're playing with a kinetic pace, putting a lot of pressure on the ball handlers and forcing turnovers. Something else they've done right so far from the get-go tonight is, is run. I mean, so much of their offense has come off the fast break. You know, the defense has got to do a much better job of fighting over those screens. And Greg, especially when the ball is in his hands. I mean, come on now. You know he doesn't miss too many open looks like that. Thomas up top. Pass to Hernan Gomez. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. The Knicks shooting their fourth and fifth shots at the foul line in the game. And their success rate on the season is right around 77%. One of the things they've done, guys, is taken pride in their free throw shooting this season, and rightfully so. First free throw is good. You know, the Lakers had never missed the playoffs in three consecutive seasons in franchise history until last season. Boy, this is a franchise that's clearly unaccustomed to losing basketball games. Both shots good from the strike. And the last time the Lakers had missed the playoffs in two consecutive seasons was 1976. Well, up to 2013, the Lakers had only missed the playoffs five times total in the 65 years of the team's history. And now it's three seasons in a row for a franchise with so much very justified pride. It's got to be tough to handle and swallow. New York, no good that time either. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Yeah, sensational is a really good word for it, Greg. They're tearing it up on the glass. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. 
Now here's Ennis. Pass to Brewer. But three. He's off on that one. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Knicks lead by eight. Stay with us as we get set to bring you the second quarter right after this. Well, we know what Derrick Rose has been through, the injuries, the expectations. And we asked him how he's dealing with all of them. I got a clear mind when I play. I can't think about um, the past. I can't think about if I'm going to hurt myself, if I move the wrong way. When I'm out there, I have a free mind. I have no expectations on myself. I just know that I prepare myself well. There's no pressure. Well, and Rose says no pressure like there's at least a little bit guy is a pressure to get back to where he was yeah i mean league mvp in 11 once considered a, a cornerstone for the nba's youth movement hey with a little more luck he, he may still be that and the first quarter is in the books second about ready to get underway and what stands out to you from new york in this one a lot of times the team that owns the paint is going to come away with Out. They've got Brewer. Hands out there with World Peace. Then it's Robinson, and it's Ennis in at the point. That's the group for the Lakers to start the second quarter. And everyone knows that the Knicks have been committed to the triangle offense. Not the easiest offense to run or learn, Greg Anthony, but they are staying with it. And I think for the foreseeable future, that is going to be the plan. I mean, their roster can work with it, but but it hasn't been easy thus far. You wonder if the offense has simply fallen out of favor due to the up-tempo nature of the modern NBA. Now here's Ennis. At the elbow, it's Robinson. Free throw line jump shot. Herman Gomez grabs the miss. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And what I like about it, Greg, it's been a physical brand of basketballs had a little sandpaper element to it gritty and and rough but that's how you win games Lakers trail by 13 Ennis kicks to Robinson to the inside Brewer and the bucket counts and he's on his way to the free throw line to try to make it a three-point play boy they keep hammering away at him inside forcing that ball into the paint smash mouth basketball and Clark, it's a strategy that has served them well during the course of this first half. Lakers shooting their first free throw tonight. And for the Lakers, five different head coaches now counting interims in the last five seasons. Not a bunch of stability on that bench. Here's Baker. Kicks it to O'Quinn. Right side, Thomas. Back to O'Quinn, stolen by World Peace. And pushing it up, here's Los Angeles. Nance, no good. Ill-advised shot there. Yeah, exactly. That was lower than low percentage. Not a piece of it. And even three-on-three -three break. Here's Ennis. Misses off the left iron. And the Lakers also seeing some turmoil in the front office this offseason. Yeah, you know, back in 2014, big promises were made about contending within three years. I mean, this is season three, and the Lakers clearly a bit away from contention. And this team looking for a new direction, hopefully one with some stability and consistency. The Knicks leading by 10. Inside, here's O'Quinn. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. The next hip shot a good percentage from the free throw line so far. They've made five out of six. And 
And the first one at the line is good. The wall dang is checked in for Meta World Peace. And a switch here also for New York. Rose is checked in. And he makes both free throws. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. Yeah, you have to make teams pay for fouling you. That's why they call them free. And they've done exactly that. Made them pay. Now here's Ennis. Shoots from the right block. Herman Gomez grabs the miss. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. Here's O'Quinn. A 14-point game for him in the win against the Kings in Sacramento. In the corner, it's Brewer. And a miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. Here's Baker, covered by Brewer. And here's Rose outside. Cans it from downtown. Rose has got his first three points of the game. And Rose has shown himself capable of knocking down that three when he's got some data. So timeout called here, the first for Los Angeles. Yeah, just frustrated by their lack of production offensively, and I can't blame them. I mean, they're getting the looks, but the shots just aren't falling. Yeah, and the slump that they're having shooting the ball can take its toll on you if you're not mentally strong. So I like this timeout here to try to get those guys reset and refocused. Yeah, saw some things that just weren't working for them and wants to make some adjustments. Yeah, and no reason to wait around to do that, Greg. I mean, might as well make those adjustments right away. Los Angeles making a switch here. Ingram's checked in. And then for New York, Carmelo Anthony, he's checked in for Thomas. And it's Lee in for Baker. Here in the second quarter, about three minutes played. Robinson, a screen on Rose. Ennis kicks to Robinson. And it's blocked by O'Quinn. Tang with the bucket. Tang's got his first points of the night. New York leading by 13. And here's Rose. He's making his presence felt offensively with his scoring average up there at almost 13 points a game. Ingram wide open. Buries it from three-point range. Ingram's got seven. And really, Ingram is consistent in nailing these perimeter shots. Gotta get a hand up or he's gonna make you pay. Now, here's O'Quinn. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. The inside. He's covered by Dang, and Courtney Lee gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. Yeah, not afraid of the physical play, but he still needs to stay under control. Yeah, he obviously was not under control right there. Not much doubt he was going to get whistled for the over-the-back call. Randall's checked in for the Lakers. Jordan Clarkson comes in for Tyler Ennis. Here's Clarkson, 11 points in the game. There's a screen by Robinson. Dishes to Ingram. Second chance shot. Herman Gomez grabs the miss. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. And the Lakers head coach, Luke Walton, played almost his entire career in L.A., winning two titles along the way. Always known for his tremendous IQ for the game. Here's Rhodes following the bucket by the Lakers. Hey, Anthony, the pass to Hernan Gomez. And here we go with the breakdown tonight of the front court and back court rebounding numbers for the Knicks. And their big men are getting the majority of the rebounds. You, you like all five guys boxing out and, and getting on the glass, but at the end of the day, that's their role to control the board. And, you know, you think about the Lakers fan base of 16 million. This team is a national phenomenon. They're one of the most popular teams in the country in any sport. 
estimated to be the second most valuable franchise in the league after the New York Knicks. He's perfect from the line this time. Clarkson with the ball. His last outing, 16 points for him. Randall with a screen for Clarkson. He dishes it to Ingram. Here's Zubats. He feeds it to Clarkson. Shot clock at five. And that one's good, Ingram. And even with the Lakers struggling to win games, you can bet whenever a big-name free agent hits the market, Lakers can almost always get a meeting. Yeah, typically they're going to be in that discussion, uh, and they keep their checkbook open just for that reason. I mean, the lure of the big market, the bright lights of L.A., endorsement opportunities, uh, it all holds a certain allure um, in this day and age. Dang, a screen on Lee. A floater. A putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. I love the determination he showed there, getting himself into good position under the glass. With the presence of mind to know just where the rebound was going to come down. Well timed. And then the nifty touch to tip it in as well. Here's Hernan Gomez. He points his last outing. It's Anthony with the drive. And, and watching Melo, you can just see how his game has grown since when he came into the league. I mean, still as great a scorer as you're going to find, but he's doing so much now in terms of his passing and, and his defense. I mean, visibly much more of an impact on the floor in other facets, and I think that's a credit to his maturation and the reason why there's some optimism for the Knicks. Joakim Noah is checked in for New York. Porzingis is coming in for Kyle O'Quinn. Both free throws, good for Anthony. And the Five Lakers out. call Five time out. here. Go and ahead. as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And, Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. Lakers trail by 11. Now Clarkson. Bang for three. Rebounded by Rose. And with Melo and seeing his game grow, it's almost like he's putting more trust in his teammates and not going at it alone quite as often. And, and when he does need to ISO and take over for possession always been a good passer and now he's just trusting his teammates more scoring is down a bit but to defend now here's rose brandon ingram missing his last shot out to anthony this one for three poke loose los angeles is five from three-point land since the end of the first offensive rebound and the officials whistle a foul good. on the shot. Good. The bucket's good. He'll go to What's the up? line. The Lakers have made their only other free throw attempt today in an earlier trip to the line. And in Brandon Ingram, a five-star recruit out of Kinston High School, he helped them win four straight North Carolina championships, the first time that had happened in the state's history. Now here's Rhodes. Passes it to Noah. To the paint, Ingram with the steal. He kicks it to Clarkson. Lots of room. It's rebounded by Noah. Noah's got his seventh rebound here tonight. 
And Ingram mentored and coached by former NBA great Jerry Stackhouse. And I wonder if Stack was a little disappointed that Ingram didn't end up becoming a Tar Heel. Instead, choosing the arch rival and, and going to Duke, a one and done there. It, it certainly has worked out pretty well for the young fella. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Here's Rose. Randall grabs the board. Randall's got three rebounds now in this one. And the foul on Derrick Rose. That'll be his second foul of the game. I mean, that's a tough break for the D. I mean, he took the hit and drew the whistle. Yeah, but he was late to get there, Greg, so the referee couldn't give him a free pass on that one. Now, here's Clarkson. He's got 11. To the inside, Zubats. A stupendous finish in traffic. Six points for him. New York leading by eight. Now here's Rose. Anthony dishes the lead. That one falls coming off Anthony's feet. Anthony's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. The Lakers shooting 33% in the second. There's the screen. And here's Clarkson. He's definitely a factor in their offense, averaging 12 points a game. Four on the shot clock. From beyond the arc, it's hauled in by Persingas. Persingas has got three rebounds now in this one. And just not able to find the target from three-point range here in the second quarter, although he did knock down one in the first. Now here's Porzingis. Ten points for him. The drive by Anthony. And, and nobody, guys, among the defenders stepping up to challenge him on that drive to the ten. And, Greg, he says thank you very much and <laughs> sails in for the flush. And those are the kind of sequences that tell you why the score is what it is. And, and started hot, and he's only gotten harder. The Knicks leading by ten. Screen by Porzingis. The dish to Noah. An easy layup after coming off the pick. Well, if you're going to give them layups, there's no way you're going to get back in this game. Well, you know, against a player of his caliber, sometimes those layups are going to come no matter what the defense throws at. And the Lakers call time here. They have to like what we're seeing from Carmelo Anthony. He's really taking it to him inside. They got to find a way to slow him down. And GA, after being such a fixture in the city of Chicago and for so long, Joachim Noah signing with his hometown team, the Knicks, in the last offseason, a bit of a bitter. Time had dwindled, and it was just, I think, in everyone's best interest for him to move on. Uh, it's a great fit in New York, both with the team and, and the pulse of the city clearly was still valued highly around the league as it took a sizable contract to put him in that Nick uniform. Catching up on the changes for Los Angeles. World peace comes in for Julius Randle. And it's Brewer in for Luol Dan. And he's clearly led the way offensively. The question is, can they ride him and get back into it? Here's Baker. He's covered by Clarkson. Noah the screen feeds it to Bujicic. Brewer with the rebound. Not really sure what he was thinking about on that shot. That is not high IQ basketball. Not at all. I mean, he shouldn't even have considered taking that shot. Just a poor, poor choice there. No, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. Well, you look at Brandon Ingram and certainly a great body for the game of basketball. But, guys, it's his skill that really completes the package, wouldn't you say? Oh, no doubt about it. Shot over 40% from three-point range at Duke. He can handle and... 70% from the free-throw line. And great shooters usually do better than that. And as he's checked in for Jordan Clarkson. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. And working, Kevin, themselves to the line here in the second. A nice way to get your offense going. And maybe cause some foul trouble along the way as well. And we know what that can do. It pays off typically in good fashion for you. 
Here's Vujicic. And he was camped in the lane there, and he gets the three-second call. Larry Nance has checked in for the Lakers. Lakers trail by eight. Down low. Deflects the pass. And that'll be the Lakers as it goes out of bounds. Lakers retain possession. Yeah, that's a super defensive play. If that gets through, no doubt they score. And that's why he sold out for it, because he knew he had to make that play. He wasn't going to let them get the advantage. Peeps. And Brewer kicks to Nance. The three. Just doesn't seem to have it here in the second quarter. Brewer's shot is off. And, and they continue to control the glass. Guys, I think they've simply been the more physical team, and that's why they're ahead. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. Hammering down the two-hand slam really piling on the lead with a dunk like that. Wasted no time on that one. A little bit of a defensive breakdown there. He's not the guy you want to leave open on the perimeter. You've got to stay attached to him. Baker passes to Thomas. Let's it go from 11. That one off the back iron and out. Lakers trail by seven. Shot by Ennis. Nobody around. Off target with his three. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. And the dunk by Porzingis. And just tacks a few more points onto their lead with the tomahawk. Ah, that's bringing it down hard. Guys, it is symbolic of their effort here tonight. Noah with the block. Porzingis with the ball, picked up by World Peace. Baker with the bucket. I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. I tell you what, it's, it reminds me of one of my college coaches. He used to say, that ain't going to get it done. That's five straight baskets in the paint now. <laughs> <laughs> Brewer. And so we conclude the first half. David. Carmelo looked like the offense was really working there. How were you guys able to get things going so well? We got vets. We got guys that know how to play basketball. Uh, we, we come together as a team. We're doing that, and we're just trying to take it one day at a time. That's it. Well, thanks for your time, Carmelo. See you in the second half. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you, and stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And we hope you've enjoyed our first half of action. I'm Ernie Johnson welcoming Kenny the Jet Smith is right there, and this here is the halftime report. A stellar first half for Carmelo Anthony. He had 12 points, four assists, and five rebounds. Hey, big fella, what's your take on New York so far? I don't think anyone expected to see such numbers from the bench, you know. I'm impressed. It was what they needed, the joke they needed, Ernie. Wow, I, I never knew their bench. As a matter of fact, I don't even know any of their players coming off the bench. Man, keep going, bench guys. And over to Kenny, your takeaway on the Lakers. Their inaccuracy from behind the arc was brutal. Shot selection, I didn't see any. The perimeter offense they're running, you could scrap that. They need to get back to the basics, pound it inside, more pick and roll. Try to pick up some easy buckets in transition. That, sadly, wraps up the halftime show. No. The third quarter set to begin in just a few. We'll see you right here, though, after the game, so you have that to look forward to. Kenny had so much more to say. Welcome back, everybody. Third quarter just about to get going here in what has been so far a runaway game. Brandon Ingram has been sensational. And the thing I noticed most in that first half was his offense. He was not wasteful with his opportunities and also did a great job of converting with the chances he had. I agree with you, Greg. Judicious shot selection. All of his looks were good looks. And New York, looking at who they've got, 
Mello and Porzingis, the two stars at the forward spots. Lee out there with Derrick Rose. And it's Noah in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And the basket by Rose. And Rose always looking for his offense. And why not? He can put up points in a hurry. Clarkson dishes to Randall. World Peace against Noah. And World Peace kicks to Clarkson. No good on that one. And New York the other way now. This game coming on the heels of their win against the Kings. And really an emphatic win for them, especially considering that it came in an opponent's building. And there's no question it was their offense that carried them. I love the way they went and got this game, Greg. I mean, they attacked at every opportunity, never relaxed or sat back. And as a result, they eventually pulled away. Here's Ingram. Sinks the three-pointer. Ingram's got. Because of him. Now here's Lee. And he can be counted on to put some points on the board every night. He's averaging. It's a game. I'll tell you what. That's just a major unforced error right there, guys. My goodness. Thomas Robinson. He's checked in for Meta World Peace. Lakers trail by 12. Clarkson passes to Ingram. Just over a minute and a half have passed here in the third quarter. No good. This number seven, he's made eight from the field. Still a bit chilly from the field at the start of this third quarter. One of four so far. I like the fact that he led his teammate right to the ideal spots. You don't always throw it to your teammate. You throw it to where he needs to be. From past the arc, Los Angeles with another miss. Ooh, and this is turning into a slow start here in the second half. Seems like they left that offense in the locker room. And the dunk by Porzingis. And doing some dirty work on the offensive glass. And then fouls it up, Greg, with heavy-duty jam on his mind with a terrific putback. Got a pigeon on that one. Easy money right there, fellas. Going old school on you, young fellas. Look that up, pigeon. On the wing, Dang, covered by Lee. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Connects from three-point range. 25 points for Brandon Ingram. He's putting on a commanding performance here. He's hit two three-pointers in each half now. Lee kicks to Rose. Outside Anthony. Noah against Robinson. Noah dishes to Carmelo. Five to shoot. Puts one up from 19, and it's Anthony again missing. Lakers trail by 13. Then kicks to Clarkson. To the middle, wants to get it to Robinson, and does. And they're going to count the bucket and send him to the Y. It could be a three-point play. So it'll be Thomas Robinson shooting. That's on Joakim Noah. Lakers shooting their fifth attempt at the line in the game. Not really where you'd like to be as a team in terms of free throw shooting, just about 73%. You know, I know that's an aspect they've been trying to address as a team. I mean, they've got to get those free throw numbers up and improve. And this is why you need good defenders on the interior to contest shots. Yeah, Greg, making every shot a hard one, even the shots in close. Now, here's Clarkson. 11 points in the game. Picked by Randall. Jacks up a three. Kept alive. That one's in there. The New York lead is cut down now to just nine in the bucket from Thomas Robinson. Just a grinder. Always doing the dirty work on the offensive glass. And that's one of the things he brings to the table. Here is Rose. Seven points in the game. Anthony on the wing. Yes, and it's Rose with the assist that time. 17 points for Carmelo Anthony. He's been one of their time more out, reliable out. options today, guys. I mean, his shooting has Sorry. led them to this lead. And the Lakers call time here. And, and the one thing about Rose is that, you know, he can still get up 
for the big matchups. Whenever he faces another great point guard, he seems to play at his best level and, and loves to push himself and, and is willing to step up to the challenge. Let's just hope that he can eventually get back to that all-star caliber presence he had just a few years ago. And with Rose and his injuries, it's not easy for him to put in a work day every day but as you said he can light it up on the big stage yeah, and that is why he's such a threat even with his numbers being somewhat diminished Rose knows what it takes to be a successful player at the highest level you only wish he wasn't robbed of so much of his game due to injuries New York on D. At one point, they led by 16. Here's Ingram. And Lee pulls it down. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. That's a two from Dang. Robinson kicks to Randall. He hits it from nine. Nice job. Very good rhythm. Randall on the catch and shoot. The Knicks leading by 10. Rose kicks to Lee. The pass to O'Quinn. Back to Lee. Up off the screen. He lays it in. And an open path to the hoop there. An easy bucket. We've seen that far too many times today. Yeah, yeah, it's just been far too soft. Not much fight being shown by the defense there. And boy, that's hard to watch, quite honestly. Now, here is Robinson. He has six. And there's the feed to Clarkson. Down to five on the shot clock. 20 feet out. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. And here is the shot chart as we see how things are going. And it's been bad news for them in the mid-range game so far. The looks they've been getting aren't the worst in the world, but every shot seems to find a way to rim out, and it's cost them in a major way. Some more ball movement and, and looking at attacking the basket might be the best way for them to shake things up. Rose kicks to Lee. Inside. Pass to O'Quinn. Here's Hernan Gomez. O'Quinn, the pass to Lee. Six on the shot clock. New York needs to get off a shot. Anthony. And the shot falls short this time. Lakers trail by 12. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. And the passing of Ingram, setting up his teammates and distributing the ball effortless. Now here's Lee. Six points for him. There's the screen. Here's Anthony. Pass to Hernan Gomez. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Randall's got six rebounds now in the game. Ingram dishes to Clarkson. From downtown, the Knicks pull it in. And this is the first season matchup for them against the Lakers team. An interconference matchup. They faced these guys twice a season. And last year, they took both games. Two teams in the bottom of the East and West, as you said, these regular season victories count for more. Both hungry for a win tonight. And here is Los Angeles now. The Knicks making the shot. Robinson sets a screen for Ingram. Robinson kicks to Clarkson. Herman Gomez grabs the miss. Physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. That plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Yeah, not to mention what it says on the scoreboard. They're really pushing them around. Straight bully ball. Now, here's O'Quinn. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out east already. We are in December. Taking a look at Milwaukee. Things going their way so far in this season. Right now, they lead the pack up front in the first spot with the best record. And, of course, the New York Knicks, their seventh best in the conference. Well, I think for New York, they talked a lot in the preseason about how they wanted to bounce back from last year's disappointment. So Good far, shot. they look to be on track to do just that. They sure do, Greg. I mean, they've avoided the bottom of the standings, and uh, let's see if they can keep making progress as the season goes on here. And he knocks down the first one. And the Lakers with some changes. Nancy's checked in for Ingram. Brewer comes in for Luol Deng. 
and it's Tyler Ennis in for Jordan Clarkson. The Knicks also changing it up. Lance Thomas, he's checked in for Anthony. Pujicic comes in for Lee, and it's Baker in for Derrick Rose. And so Quinn nails both of them. Lakers trail by 14. Ennis with the ball. There's a screen by Robinson. Off the screen, and it's blocked. Here's Vujicic, covered by Brewer. Nice shot by Vujicic. Let's look at the energy stats, how the hustle game has been going for the Knicks. Contested shots and block shots. They're bread and butter defensively. They're giving up no easy looks. Yeah, but also, they haven't missed the beat in terms of their fast break game. That's been equally as effective all night long. Yeah, he just punched the ticket on that one. That'll get the job done. Powerful two-hand jam. I tell you what, if he's got a few more of those in him, this lead will really start shrinking. Here's Baker. Seven points in the game. There's the triple. Puyacic's shot is off. And out of bounds is the next game possession. These are the teams that have been really dominant in the paint so far this season. Second, the Knicks. You know, all season long, this has been one of the better rebounding teams in the league. And when you rebound the ball well, you limit your opponent's second shot opportunities, and you also give yourself some additional scoring opportunities. The Knicks leading by 14. And Thomas has it in the corner. It's stolen by Nance. Here's Brewer. Lays it up and banks it in. Advantage he's got down low. Really difficult for them to defend. He's averaging around five and a half points a game. New York, no good that time either. Lakers trail by 12. Ennis kicks to Randall. It's good. The assist had time for Ennis. Six points for Julius Randall. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now, Greg. They've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. The shot's good from Nance. And an important part of every team's game. And we'll look at the hustle stats for the Lakers. Their high-energy defensive effort has paid off for them, guys, with more than a few steals over the course of the ballgame. And also, their second-chance points have been a story all night as well. But that's just pure effort and hustle. Now, here's O'Quinn. He's got eight. Clock is at three. Here's Vujicic off the left rim and up. Just not there from a rhythm standpoint right now. It's really eluding him. Brewer's shot is off. He's giving them little to nothing at the offensive end. I can't put it any other way. Now Ennis. Left side, Nance. Great pass to set up the lay-in. Nance has got his second basket of the night. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Here's Baker. He has seven and two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. First one drops. Los Angeles making a switch here. World Peace is checked in. Joakim Noah is checked in for New York. Porzingis comes in for Kyle O'Quinn. He hits both from the strike. Impeccable from the line since halftime. No misses yet. You can't do much better than that, guys. Ennis kicks to world peace. Rip, 
156 left in the third quarter. There's a screen by Robinson from downtown. Vujicic grabs the miss. And he's really having all sorts of problems with his jumper right now. Yeah, big time. I mean, the words that come to mind, ice and cold and disappearing stroke, all with a plot. Here's Ennis. The Knicks making the shot. Ball stolen. Here's Thomas. Poked away. And the call against Lance Thomas. That is his first foul of the game. Lakers trail by 10. Well, you know, back in high school, Larry Nance Jr. almost quit basketball. You know, he was feeling tired and lethargic and couldn't figure it out. And it turned out he was suffering from Crohn's syndrome, a chronic digestive system inflammation. But now healthy, he's following in his father's footsteps and looks like he's going to have a long NBA career, too. Here's Vujicic. Larry Nance making his last shot. Here's Persingas. And plenty of contact on the shot. So two free throws coming up. And the foul called on Los Angeles. And Nance diagnosed with Crohn's, he started getting injections of medication and hit a huge growth spurt. In fact, he grew six inches from his sophomore to his junior year in high school. Yeah, and he suffered from that, um, actually debilitating growth pain. Then he tore an ACL his junior year at Wyoming. Has not been smooth sailing at all for him, but here he is now. He's persevered, and he's shown to be a productive NBA player. So he makes both from the line. He's a dead eye at the line, fellas. Just call him automatic. He doesn't miss many of those. There's a screen by Robinson. There's the pick. Ennis passes to Nance. Thomas with the block. And they get it back. Shot clock at six. Ennis hits the three-point bomb. Ennis has got five now. Well, the, the pick didn't exactly neutralize the defender, but, but good concentration on the finish to still get the basket. Here's Baker. He's got seven. And the dunk by Porzingis. And how about breaking out the Statue of Liberty <laughs> on that dunk? A nice way to pad that lead a little more. You're right. Yes, indeedy. Well done. Now here's Ennis. Nine-point game. Two-second difference between shot clock and game clock. In the corner, it's Brewer. Let's a floater go. They shoot again. And Ennis lays it up and in. He has seven. Nice job creating for the easy deals. And we've reached the end of the third. Knicks lead by seven. And don't go away. We'll be back momentarily. quarter just moments away now as we welcome you back trail by seven. Brewer is out there with Ennis. Then there's World Peace. Then it's Nance. And it's Zubats in at the five. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. And Brewer kicks to World Peace. Here's Zubats. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here.
First one falls for him. Clarkson, he's checked in for the Lakers. And so he hits both. Now here's Rose. Kicks it to Bujic. Outside, Brzingis. Miller with a screen on world peace. Here's Brewer. A shot off that time. Rose with some nice D. The Knicks leading by five. Vujicic kicks to Anthony. On its way from Rose for two. That's in there. Anthony with the assist. Anthony's got six assists now in the game. Works and dishes to world peace. He feeds it to Brewer. There's the pass to Zubats. Another shot. And the layup is good. And look at it. A significant portion of their offense coming on those second chance opportunities. Yeah, they played with more hunger. Very impressive with the uh, effort they put on the glass. I like that tenacity. And so here is New York following the bucket by the Lakers. Rose. Good. A, a, a tough first half, but it's been a different story here since the break. Lakers trail by seven. We've gone about a minute and a half into the fourth quarter. Out to Nance. It's rebounded by New York. Persingas has got rebound number seven for him tonight. To the inside, and it's out of bounds to New York. They'll retain possession. And Los Angeles with some changes. Ingram comes in for Larry Nance. And it's Dang in for Corey Brewer. Courtney Lee, he's checked in for the Knicks. Here's Brzingis to the paint. Noah. He's off on the first. Julius Randle's checked in for Metal World Peace. That one is no good. And Julius Randle grew up in the game of basketball. His mother played collegiately, and she was his first coach. And she coached him well, guys. I mean, he was a five-star recruit out of high school. He helped Kentucky reach the national championship game and was the number seven pick in 2014. I think he's already demonstrated he can play at a high level, and expectations are that he'll continue that here in the end. First free throw is good. Oh, free throw is good from Luol Dang. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Down low. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. Two shots.
so he comes up empty at the line. And Julius Randle, a good ball handler for his size. Yeah, and you know what, Kevin? He's like our colleague, a left-hander. <laughs> I mean, he loves to attack off the bounce, and whether he's working from the elbows or hauling down a defensive rebound and taking it the full length of the court, he uh, wants to get to the basket off the dribble. Outside Rose. Inside. Porzingis kicks to Anthony. Shot clock at five. And it's blocked. In addition to being superb on offense, Ingram is also a ridiculously good defender. His long reach really allowing him to collect a good number of block shots. The Knicks leading by three. To the inside. Here's Noah. And finished off by Noah. Oh. Oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Now's the time to do it. Keep attacking that rim. Here's Ingram. The Knicks making the shot. Clarkson passes to Ingram. Some nice passing here by Los Angeles. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it three. You know, the defense was there, but Clarkson fearless inside. And, you know, Jordan Clarkson, a slashing combo guard with good size, Played his college ball at the University of Missouri. He's a good ball handler. He can play either guard spot and uh, really good operating in the pick and roll. Los Angeles making a switch here. Robinson's checked in and a switcher also for New York. O'Quinn's checked in. Free throw good. Clarkson and a nice balance in Clarkson's scoring. He can shoot from long range, from mid range, and finish above the rim. And guys, I like his athleticism. He's a good athlete, 6'5, strong and explosive. Uh, a little streaky from long range, but he's made nice improvement there, too. And that's how it's done. I mean, find that hole in the D and then go hard to the right. Maybe that hole was a little bigger than it should have been. Well, it was. I mean, a tight game like this one, you'd think they'd have a little more energy at the defensive end than that. Outside Rose. Anthony kicks to O'Quinn. To the inside. Rose. And they're going to count the bucket and send him to the line. It could be a three point play. There's been a change in his game compared to what we saw in the first half. I mean, he's scoring with a lot of confidence now. What a night so far for Rose. He's got 13 points, and he's come up with a couple of nice steals today, too. Clark, just a very energetic brand of defense. the former number one overall pick in 08, one of the most athletically gifted point guards the league has ever seen. Now, here's Clarkson. Dishes it to Ingram. Rebounded by Anthony. Anthony's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Rose goes in, and Rose throws it down. And what a beautiful way to polish off that sequence. Just strong at attacking the rim. That just puts a little more momentum on their side, don't you think? Absolutely. The defense got to tighten up now. I mean, you can't have the opposing point guard throwing down on you like that. And guys, all about hard work from this point on. They've worked hard to create that high-quality shot and then able to knock it down. Now here's Lee. Anthony dishes the Rhodes. Back to Anthony. Ingram with the steal. Bang for three. And it's Dang again missing. Their game plan needs to change if they're going to get out of this hole because he is just not there offensively. Now the Lakers on the break. Jumps up. He with the block. And they're able to recover. Here's Robinson. No luck. They battled on the glass but couldn't knock it down. New York leading by five. Anthony, the pass to Lee. He gets that one. Well played right there. I mean, there's no question who has the momentum. Greg, the lead appears to be heading north, if you will. Now, here's Clarkson. Robinson, a screen on Rose. Clarkson kicks to Robinson. Excellent game we've seen from Thomas Robinson. 11 rebounds, and he's been delivering a healthy dose of helpers, too. He really has, Clark, always with his head up, looking to make the pass, trying to find the open man.
No good on that one. And he sinks the second. New York leading by six. Outside Anthony. Right side, Lee. And here's Rose. Outside, offensive rebound. The dish to Anthony. Second shot opportunity. And that one comes up a bit short. And the foul on Carmelo Anthony. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus. We'll go to the line to shoot two. one falls for Robinson of course he didn't have an attempt there in the first half he's hoping to be a little bit more active and aggressive here and draw some fouls here in the second off on that one so he goes one for two at the line the Knicks leading by five oh Quinn dishes to Anthony Lee outside he kicks it to Noah. It's stolen by Dang. Last break. The Lakers. Here's Clarkson. Here's Ingram. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. Rose. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. Baker, he's checked in for the Knicks. You know, it's been a bad day for them at the line today as a whole. And far too often, that's the case for this team. He's perfect from the line this time. And Ingram, the former Blue Devil, an extraordinary player who only promises to get better and better. Baker passes to Lee. Outside Anthony. Back to Lee. And Lee with the stuff. Carmelo Anthony showing you his passing skill there. Lakers trail by five. And here's Clarkson. Picked by Randall. Feeds to Robinson. 13 feet away. The Knicks pull it in. At one point, they led by 16. Following this game, they hit the road to challenge the Suns in Phoenix. And that game will be game three of five away from home. How many times have we seen a possession to take that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Well, when you look at the assist total, heck, they've been clearly the better team. Here's Dang after the made shot from Carmelo Anthony. Dang with the bucket. He didn't get a chance to knock one down in the first, but the defense left him a look, and he nailed it. He'll make them pay when he's open. Right wing, and O'Quinn kicks to Anthony. And it's Ingram with the rebound. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the deep just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Great quarter for him at the offensive end, trying to will his team back in the game. So far in the game for Dang, he's got 13 points and a steal. Well, he's getting hotter by the second. Yeah, he is on a roll out there. And New York making a change here. Rosingas has checked in. The free throw off from Dang. The Knicks with the lead. Deflects the pass. It's stolen by Randall. Dang dishes to Clarkson. Back to Dang. To tie it up. It's hauled in by Persingas. Persingas has got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Lee kicks it to Noah. Excellent D that time from Robinson. The feed now to Ingram. Robinson a screen on Anthony. Ingram. And the go-ahead bucket, no good. Not sure if he just ran out of gas or what, Kevin, but 
He's been awful ever since the second half started. It's not even been a factor. And the shot goes down. And, and when you've got that much of a size advantage on your defender, that's how you take advantage of it. Clarkson kicks to Ingram. Back to Clarkson. And again, the Lakers no good. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D. Allen's position, you could see the frustration on his face. I love how he establishes his post position inside before he converts. Now here's Ingram. Fires from the line. Robinson misses. And, and, and really credit their advantage on the backboard. That's where the lead has been built, and that's why they are in control. Greg, simply controlling the glass. I mean, plus 10 is the advantage in rebounds right now. Now here's Anthony following the miss by Thomas Robinson. For them offensively. Ten straight points off assist. That's very impressive. And it also makes the game easy and fun to watch. Take a look at what Clarkson's been doing. He's got 16 points and nine assists. And if I had to pick what he's done best today, I'd probably lean towards the offensive performance. Well, just to be a contrarian, I'm going to go to the other side because he's been just as impressive, I think, at the defensive end. And the first one drops. And, you know, one of those rare second-round picks who played well immediately. Clarkson was first-team all-rookie and continues to develop. Sasha Vujicic has checked in for Baker. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. The Knicks leading by six. You got him. Now Vujicic. Outside, Brzingis. Anthony down low. And it's good. Walk through good. contact, hits good. the shot. He'll go to the free throw line. Really, really good possession there. They've never lost their focus, even as the game's gotten tight. I agree with you. I mean, and now they're that we're moving deeper into the fourth. It's really the point where they had a few more points to the lead, and I think they can put this thing away and consider it over. Clarkson with the ball. He dishes it to Randall. Robinson passes to Clarkson. Down low, Randall, and he makes good on the layup. That's a nice move by Randall. That's the area where he likes to work most. New York shooting it very well tonight, around 57%. Here's Anthony. Vujicic kicks to Anthony. Pass to Noah. New York moving it around. Anthony's shot is off. That's not a sight you see very often. I mean, he has a great feel for that jump shot, especially. Dang dishes to Randall. Got a piece of it. Rosingas with the steal. Dang. Lee outside. Going by Robinson. It's going to take something special for them to come back now. Well, I would say something special and some luck as well, or good fortune, however you want to phrase it. Now Anthony, after the miss three from Luol Deng, misses from close range. There's 53 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Down low, here's Robinson. Connects! Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. I mean, you never expect to get opportunities that easy coming down the stretch of a tight game. And, Greg, we know how important every basket is, especially at this stage. And to me, that just looked like one of those inexcusable breakdowns. Now here's Anthony. Pass to Vujicic. Kicks it to Noah. Shot clock at five. Deep two from Anthony. And again, it's the Knicks missing. And the Lakers call time here. They're down by five. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Oh, 
we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Kevin, I listened in on what Luke Walton said to his team. We can't make mistakes. You got to be aggressive and smart. Back to you guys. Here's Clarkson. That one wide left. And it's the Knicks with the ball. At one point, they led by 16. That is some real Wait serious dime dropping there. Exquisite Started. assist. Timeout called the Lakers. They trail by seven. 12 seconds left in the game. And his misses. And he made sure not to just draw the foul. That was good defense out on the perimeter. Very good. He's a thinking man's defender. Knows how to bother even the best shooters without being overly aggressive. So it's New York picking up the win. They seem to relish their role as the bad guy here tonight. You know, Kevin, I sense that as well. I mean, they really did feed off all of that negative energy this crowd was directing at them. I mean, they turned it around and used it as motivation to close out a significant win. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much, Joe. Nice win tonight. What was your team's attitude coming into the game? Yeah, we, we played hard tonight. We're getting better. We're getting better. We just got to keep going. You know, it's a uh, work in progress. And, uh, you know, we just got to keep fighting, keep fighting, and uh, get as many Ws as possible. Well, the trend line is looking good so far right now, Joe. Thanks again. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. And standing by for the postgame show, winning Ernie Johnson with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. The 2K Sports postgame show. And Ernie Johnson here again with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny Smith. Without further ado, let's present our Jordan player of the game, Kristaps Porzingis. Listen, he plays some hard charge. him he said no nah, I'm not just gonna hang on the perimeter I'm his accuracy <laughs> wow I was blown away by how consistent he was throughout this game there's a part of you that thinks like okay another one and another one it's it's it's, it's gonna be another one that goes in and then you realize you know what it's just his night that's gonna do it for our, our broadcast tonight we certainly hope you've enjoyed the show don't we guys it was great yeah Shaquille O'Neal and for Kevin Harlan and the entire 2K Sports crew. All 653,000 of them. Yeah. Hardworking. A lot of people. Yeah. The long line at the buffet, though. Yeah. Shout out to the T-Pose, man. Oh, yes. I don't know sure. his name, but I know his face. I'm Ernie Johnson. See you next time.